at 6 on NBC6 HD. Good evening, everyone. I'm Joel Conable with Julia Yarborough. We're starting out with our television station making news tonight. That's right. We begin with the first big news about a big change here in the South Florida television market. WTVJ has been for sale on the market since March of this year. Now the waiting and the speculating is over. The Washington Post Company has reached an agreement with NBC Universal to acquire WTVJ. Post Newsweek Stations Incorporated is a Washington Post Company subsidiary. The president and chief executive officer, Alan Frank, said, We are pleased to be able to reach an agreement to purchase such an historic station as WTVJ the first TV station to broadcast in Florida. WTVJ has dropped the candidates. I can recall the when we had WTVJ as our only station. Yeah. It has been nearly 60 years of first. From all parts of Florida comes the news. Coverage of the community. We have a long time to go. And pioneering in partnerships. Y a la que le colocaron un grillete. And technology. It's history in the making, and you are part of it. And now we're facing a future with our new owner, Post Newsweek. We will continue to operate WTVJ as an NBC affiliate. This means you will still be able to watch all of your favorite NBC shows here on WTVJ, including the number one ranked network morning news program, The Today Show. Post Newsweek currently owns and operates six other television stations, including ABC affiliate WPLG. And those changes. The Post Newsweek purchase of WTVJ will create the first NBC, ABC, English language duopoly of its kind in South Florida. Both WTVJ and WPLG will join together under one roof in a new $30 million state-of-the-art facility located on Helendo Beach Boulevard in 2009, creating one of the largest duopolies in television. And for a slideshow of images of WTVJ's history or to read the entire press release, you can log on to NBC6.net and click on the top story tab. We have some breaking news to tell you about right now. A father and son are struck on a sidewalk by a passing car in Miami. Jeff Burnside's live at our update desk with the late breaking details.